my dear. Thank you for joining. Please let's go ahead and share. Let's invite others. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, Minister Shile, Sister Yetunde. The mighty hand of the Lord is upon you guys. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for joining. Please, if you are connected, Please, uh, I'd like to know where you connected from. I know we have over 100 people connected from all over the world right now. And I trust that the number will grow as we, um, you know, connect to this uh, last this is our last uh, Friday Covenant Hour of Prayer for the year 2023. God bless you, Pastor Paulette Johnson, Mommy T, Pastor T, thank you for joining Cross Cute Culture. I love that. I love that. It's going to be a glorious night tonight. We want to end this year strong. We want to end strong. And I'm trusting that the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. It's been a very wonderful and fruitful year so far. And in one voice, I just want us to all thank God for all the encounters we've had even during this our program every Friday, our prophetic hour of prayer, where God releases His words and it touches us in different areas of our lives. Lord, we thank you for keeping faith with us and sending your word our way, connecting our, with our lives, our situations, our circumstances. And Lord, you've not left us without a witness of the veracity, sagacity, and the power in your word. Lord, we return all glory unto you. And we thank Lord for you alone are worthy. As we go even into tonight, tonight's service, preparing to cross over to 2024. Lord, let your word go ahead of us and make the way straight before us let your word release us from every bondage and stagnation that held us bound in 2023 let your word grant us freedom let your word grant us passage let your words grant us success in all our endeavors even in 2024 we release ourselves afresh unto you let your name alone be glorified in the name of jesus father we thank you we give you praise we return all glory unto you in the name of jesus thank you thank you for all that have uh, uh, signified and commented i'm still waiting for others to join but tonight i just want to welcome us to our last uh, covenant hour of prayer encounter for the year 2023 and uh, tonight we shall be speaking on a and praying on what I termed kiss it goodbye kiss it goodbye hallelujah kiss it goodbye 
you know uh paul in philippians chapter 3 and in verse uh, in verse uh, 13 and 14 he gave us uh an a, 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 analogy of what we need to do when we are in situations where we are today and he said brethren i count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing i do somebody say one thing (laughs) there's one thing people of god we all need to do as we prepare to go cross over to 2023 uh, 24 not two things not three things this is the most important thing otherwise you will be in 2024 but you will be bounded and stagnated in 2023 so if you really want to have a new experience in 2024 there's this one thing that you need to do somebody say one thing Somebody say one thing. Mali son torobo zundara mali sentry. Lord, let there be a revelation of your word. Let there be a revelation of that one thing. One thing to these ones that are connected to me. Even tonight in the name of Jesus. Begin to open their eyes. Begin to open their mind. Begin to open their understanding. Giving them revelation to the one thing that will make a difference for them in 2024 in the name of jesus he said one thing i do and that one thing for paul was i need to forget those things which are behind and as i'm forgetting those things that are behind is giving me access is giving me freedom is given me uh, opportunities to be able to reach for the things which are ahead of him. People of God, there are some things that happened in 2023 that we must be willing and ready to forget. If we are going to embrace those things that are ahead that God has planned for you as for me in 2024 he said I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling there is a prize there is a prize that God has for you there is something special in 2024 that God has in store for you and you can only assess it when you forget when you kiss goodbye those things which are behind those things that try to hold you back those things that were sources of disappointment in 2023. Yes, Lord, give me the grace, open my eyes of understanding, my ears to know, to hear that which you I need to forget, that which I need to to kiss goodbye for me to be able to embrace the prize the promotion the open doors the favor the promotions the 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 job the appointment the contract the marriage the relationship the peace that i desire in 2024 if you are going to reach your destiny evangelist 
you have to learn to kiss some things goodbye. You, you, the truth is this, in 2023, you may not have understood everything that happened. People may have walked away. Life may not turn out the way you thought it would have turned out. This year did not turn out the way you thought. And it's easy for you to get bitter. It's easy for you to hold a grudge. It's easy to lose your passion. I want you to do like Naomi did. You all know the story of Naomi. She left Bethlehem with her husband and with two sons. And because of famine, she decided to leave Bethlehem and she moved to a city called Moab. In the book of Ruth, chapter, in the book of Ruth. And in Moab, they had everything. Life was good. Everything was working fine. But the unexpected happened. What happened? The first thing that happened was that her husband died. Maybe some of you, you lost somebody in 2023. Somebody that was very close to you. Somebody that was very dear to you. Somebody that was the source of your living. Was source of your... And that loss was very tragic. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe your health was not the way you expected it to be. Maybe your child ran off, was off course. Maybe your relationship with your spouse, with your partner turned sour. But something definitely happened in 2023 that was meant to change the course of your life. You know, Naomi never dreamed that she would be a widow. And before she knew it, after that, not too long after that, her two sons also died. And she got to the point in which she was so discouraged in the, and she could no longer continue to live in the land of Moab. She decided to return back to Bethlehem. And she told her two daughters in law, Ruth and Oprah, that they are free. I release you. You've lost your husbands, which are my sons. And I release you to move back to your own hometown and go and start a new life with your family. But you know what Ruth said? Ruth said, no, I'm not going to do that to you, Naomi. I am going to stay with you. I'm going to go to Bethlehem to help take care of you at your old age. But the other daughter-in-law, Oprah, took her advice and said, well, thank you for releasing me. I'm going to go start something new. I'm going to go start something. I'm going to go back to my city and move back home. You know, you would think that Naomi would be upset. You would think that Naomi would feel bad. That why are you, after all I've done for you, Oprah, after I've stayed with you, now in my old age, you are choosing to leave me at my lowest moment? You know, you it's easy for you to go and remarry. It's easy to, for you to find a new life job. But look at me. I'm old. Who is going to take care of me? You know, Naomi could have felt betrayed, insulted. But instead, the scripture said, Naomi kissed Oprah goodbye. What does Oprah represent in your life, in my life? Upper represented the broken dreams. Upper represented the heartaches, the disappointments, the things that we don't understand in 2023. 
Naomi was saying by that kiss, life has thrown a curve at me. Life has been unfair, but I am at peace and I know that God is in control. I know that God that has sustained me in this far will continue to help me. I want you to do like Naomi. I want you, whatever is trying to cause you to be bitter, kiss them goodbye. Kiss the person that left you goodbye. Kiss the dream that you could not accomplish in 2023. Kiss it goodbye. God wouldn't have allowed it to happen if he didn't have something better up in front of you. God has something planned for you in 2024. But unless you forget the things that is holding you back in 2023, except you leave leave the weights behind except you leave the easily besetting sins behind then you cannot embrace that which god has for you sometimes god will close a door sometimes god will move people out of your way out of your life just because he has something better for you in your future maybe you lost some people maybe you, some people have worked out from your business from your ministry from your life that, have, that you think are very important and because of that you're so bitter one thing i want you to know is that there are people and opportunities that were ordained for your past that are not ordained for your future those opportunities those people were meant for 2023 and god does not have them in the agenda for your life in 2024 they were right for you for a season but that season has come to an end so you need to kiss them goodbye And the key is this how do you handle these closed doors how do you handle the disappointments how do you handle the people that treated you wrong you know sometimes <laughs> instead of kissing them goodbye we smack them goodbye good readings i don't like you in the first place don't let the door eat you on your way out. Is that familiar? You know, Naomi could have turned away angry, saying, I'm not going to kiss Oprah, some friend you are. But that would have kept her from the new things God has in store for her. You know, she moved back to Bethlehem with Ruth. Ruth ended up marrying Boaz, which was a wealthy man. He owned all the land. They had a baby, and Naomi was a proud grandmother who took care of their son as if it was her own. After all Naomi has been through, after all the broken dreams, all the losses she suffered, I'm sure while she was holding the, the boy, Naomi said, in effect, I never knew. I never dreamed I could be this happy. I could be this fulfilled. Our later days were better than our former days. And I pray for somebody here that your later days, your 2024, shall be better than your former days in the name of jesus that 2024 will be a greater experience for you than 2023 in the name of jesus 
God knows how to give you beauty for ashes. He knows how to turn mourning into dancing. But it would have never happened for Naomi if she had not kissed Opa goodbye. My question for you tonight, Mr. Salako, my question for you tonight, Brother Jerry, my question for you tonight, Brother Shile, are you at peace with your past? Or are you bitter over the loss? Are you upset your plans didn't work out in 2024, 23? Are you owning a grudge because that person walked away? People of God, it is time to kiss some things goodbye. Don't bring bitterness into a new year. Don't bring self-pity into a new year. Don't go into a new year with a sheep on your shoulder. That was your past. It doesn't belong in your future. The disappointment is in your past. The mistakes is in your past. It does not belong in your future. Because you cannot embrace the new thing God has in store as long as you are holding on to the old. You know, my, my, my father went to be with the Lord back in 2011. Actually, January 3rd, 2011. Just a day before my birthday. And that day, I lost one of my best friends. I still miss him very much. But I realize the loss of my father is in my past. And it's not in my future. If I would have brought all the hearts, the questions, the self-pity, I wouldn't be where I am today. You wouldn't have the strength to move forward if you are weeping over what's behind you. You know, it takes a lot of energy to think about the past, to relieve the heart, to wonder why it did not work out. Oh, why did it didn't work out in 2023? Why did my dream not work out? Why wasn't I able to get into the college? Why wasn't I able to start school? Why wasn't I able to, to get my ministry going forward? That person you lost, if they were supposed to be here, they will still be here. If somebody left you, I say it with every respect, then you don't need them. If it didn't work out the way you planned it, it wasn't supposed to. God's ways are not our ways. And my question is, will you trust him even when it doesn't make sense? You need to start kissing some things goodbye. You have spent enough energy on the past. That's not going to take you anywhere. Kiss that disappointment goodbye. That door that didn't close. That door didn't close by accident. God is directing your steps. It was either not the right time or because he had something better for you. God is the Alpha and the Omega. God is the beginning and the end. God knows the end from the beginning. God knows the whole picture of your life. If it does not make sense, it's because you, you do not see the complete picture of your life and of your destiny.
you know sometimes we get very excited in the beginning about the beginning we talk a lot about god doing a new thing but we don't hear a lot of a lot about the omega at the end just as god opens doors sometimes god is the same one that will close some doors <laughs> did i say something did somebody hear me the same god that opened that door is also the same door that can close a door why do we get excited when a door opens and when another door shuts, we get upset god will bring things to an end and this may be hard for us because we feel it is a setback when things doesn't work out after your best efforts the best thing you need to do the best thing you can do for yourself is to kiss it goodbye don't bring a failure from yesterday into today don't bring the failure of 2023 to 2024 if one dream dies go back and dream another dream when life turns when life doesn't turn out the way you thought why don't you just remind yourself that God is still in control? God is still sitting on the throne. Don't put that problem, that those circumstances on the throne. God is still on the throne of your life. Instead of being sour, instead of losing your joy, why don't you kiss that disappointment goodbye? And say, Lord, I know you have something better for me in my future. Quit relieving the mistakes you've made, Sister Laura. Quit relieving the things you thought you would have done differently. Wondering why it did not work out. You may have done your best. You gave it your all, but it didn't succeed. Why don't you accept it as God's plan and move on? Why do you why do you want to get stuck in something that did not work out? Instead of embracing the new opportunities God asked for you in 2024. You know, our attitude should be. God, I trust you, not just with my successes, I trust you with my failures, I trust you with the betrayers, I trust you with the things that doesn't make sense. In, in 30 seconds, why don't you just lift those hands up and say, Lord, I choose to trust you with my failures in 2023. I choose to trust you with what did not work out in 2023. I choose to trust you even with the mistakes I made. I trust you with what I don't understand. But I look unto you in 2024 for clarity, to make wrongs right. To bring beauty out of the ashes. You know, January 29, January 30, 2023. I got the news that my beloved building that I named after my father, Faguli Glass House, was is it being raised down. That was, I didn't plan for that. That was a huge shock. 
that was a great disappointment and he raced down to the floor and the next morning they brought the bulldozers and they leveled it up and for me to even take care of the debris i paid over a hundred thousand dollars to clear the debris of my building you know i could have lived sour i could have been living better i could have been so angry with life that why should it happen god i'm serving you but i know that god has a plan god is the one that said if the building comes down the third and the third day he will raise it up he will raise a great and i'm trusting him that god has something planned for me i'm not going to allow bitterness anger resentment to stop what god has for me in 2024 When you kiss the past goodbye, it releases you into your future. You have to be at peace with what's behind you because it's not enough for you to move forward angry, bitter, mad at God. And I believe that's why Naomi kissed upper. And that symbolizes that, yes, I know this is painful. I don't like it. I feel betrayed. But I am at peace. I am at peace. It takes maturity to kiss things that doesn't feel good. And that was the same thing that prophet samuel did you know in first samuel chapter 9 samuel spent years mentoring a young man named saul he took him under his wings and he trained him to become the next king of Israel and you can imagine how proud Samuel was when he saw this young man now grown and he began to lead the Israelites as their king everyone looked up to King Saul he was tall he was handsome he looked like a king but over time Saul got of course he began to make poor decisions and eventually he lost the throne samuel was disappointed expectedly and he said god i have put so much time and energy training this young man to become king i've invested my life what i did not pour into my children i poured into saul and it's all looking like everything is like a waste of time you would think god will say oh samuel i understand too bad it didn't work out but god didn't allow him to feel sorry for himself And in, in, in 1 Samuel chapter 16, First Samuel chapter 16, verse 1, he said, For how long shall you mourn? For how long shall you mourn over Saul? God is asking us tonight 
how long are you going to mourn over what you lost how long are you going to be discouraged over who hurt you over what you didn't get over that boss that supervisor that was unfair over that person that walked away from your life I don't believe in giving people the right to feel sorry for themselves not because they don't have a good reason to be to feel sorry for themselves you know some people have gone through things that nobody would have have to go through but i've learned if you stay in self-pity with a sheep on your shoulder thinking you have a reason to live defeated you will never see the vindication you will never see the restoration you will never see the promotion and you will never see the favor that belongs to you god wants to pay you back for what was unfair but don't sit around in self-pity kiss the bad break goodbye kiss the unfair childhood goodbye kiss the injustice goodbye god told samuel fill your horn with oil i'm sending you to the house of jesse i have chosen one of his son as the next king of israel and this was what god was saying to samuel if you will kiss the disappointment goodbye and start moving forward i will show you the new king one of your dreams might have died but your dream dying does not stop the plan of god for your life god has another dream our relationship might not have worked out if you kiss goodbye the hold god will show you the new you know samuel rose up with the horn of oil and he went over to the house of jesse and there he anointed david as the king of israel david went on to become the greatest king that ever lived you know when god makes up for what you lost it's not going to be less than what you lost it's not going to be equal to what you lost it's going to be better than what you lost somebody shout hallelujah so whatever you might have lost in 2023 whatever disappointment might have befallen you in 2023 no matter who walked away from your life and you think oh wow your life depends on him or her i'm praying for somebody tonight as you kiss those goodbye god will bring something better in the name of jesus in 2024 just because it hasn't turned out the way you thought doesn't mean that you have to settle for the second best no god has come up with a plan b god already knew what will happen he knew every door that will close he knew every person that will walk away he knew how you will spend time and energy concerning a dream that will not come to pass all that is is getting you ready and prepared for where god is taking you now don't get stuck mourning over saw disappointed over a bad break bitter because of a loss kiss it goodbye move forward and you will see your david <laughs> you will see more than you can ask or think in the name of jesus if that is for you can somebody say amen to that when things happen that you don't understand 
you can be you can be sure that God is up to something he's working behind the scenes if God doesn't want you to have something all of your effort will amount to nothing God is the Alpha and the Omega he knows how to not only open doors that no man can shut he knows how to close doors no man can open are you upset over a door God closed are you upset over people he moved out of your life are you over upset over a dream that he didn't let come to pass I'm asking you people of God as you cross over to 2024 don't cross over with a heavy heart don't cross, cross over with a weight and a sheep over your shoulders I'm asking you to be at peace with your past I'm asking you to be at peace with things you don't understand don't be bitter don't be angry maybe you didn't have a good childhood nobody was there to speak faith into you but I want you to know that God knew how you would be raised and that's not going to keep you from your destiny whatever happened in your past is leading you to your destiny kiss it goodbye don't continue to use it as an excuse and move forward one thing you need to know is that you can never become who you are created to be always carrying a sheep on your shoulder thinking that you are at a disadvantage trying to look for the pity of men If you will take the hand that you've been dealt and make the most of it, God will open doors you couldn't open. His favor on your life will take you to where you couldn't go on your own. Why don't you kiss the self-pity goodbye? Why don't you kiss the condescending spirit goodbye? Don't bring a bad attitude into a new year. Stop being sarcastic. You know, some people, they can wear designer clothes, put on makeup, have a nice hairdo, nice wigs. They look great on the outside. But the problem is none of that can cover up what's on the inside if we work half as much on the inside as we do on the outside we will be much better off if you don't kiss a bad attitude goodbye the problem is you will be in the same place next year as you are right now sometimes we are waiting for god to change things but God is waiting for us to make a change decision. You have to put your foot down and say, I'm not coming into a new year with old thinking. I'm kissing the chip on my shoulder goodbye. I'm kissing the guilt goodbye. I'm kissing the resentment goodbye. I'm kissing the barely get by mentality goodbye. When you kiss it, this means in your mind, you are putting an end to it. You are saying this addiction is not going to control me anymore. I am free. Have you been addicted to alcohol? Are you addicted to smoking? Are you addicted to pornography? Are you addicted to immorality 
why don't you go ahead and make a decision right now and say i'm kissing you goodbye you are not crossing over to 2024 with me maybe you've made a lot of mistakes why don't you kiss them goodbye i'm no longer living in regrets i'm no longer going to be beating myself up for the mistakes i have made because i know i am forgiven i am redeemed and i am wearing the robe of christ's righteousness maybe you've always been in dysfunction that's how you've been raised you've always been hot tempered you've always been very angry you have a very short fuse you can't tolerate people you've always been hungry yes i know that was how you were raised but that's not who you are why don't you say i'm kissing that goodbye i'm putting an hand to what's been passed down from my generation i'm breaking this generational curse i'm starting a generational blessing you need to announce to that dysfunction you may have been in my 2023 but i have bad news for you you are not going to be part of my 2024 mediocrity depression bitterness anger i am kissing you goodbye i won't be seeing you next year <laughs> our relationship has come to an end is somebody saying that right now why don't you begin to tell depression why don't you begin to tell bitterness why don't you begin to tell anger why don't you begin to tell mediocrity our contract is ended i am kissing you goodbye we have no relationship no agreement no partnership in 2024 go ahead in one minute and just speak to the lord male son torobo zundara mamale le son torobo zundara mamale male son torobo zundara mama tell them we are parting ways i hate to say it but i'm not going to miss you see ya i'm not going to be i'm not going to be with you no more in the name of jesus why don't you go ahead and kiss loneliness goodbye and say father thank you that you have somebody awesome already added my way in 2024 thank you for the right person is chasing me down goodbye to lack goodbye to struggle goodbye to not having enough you are in my yesterday but sorry you are not in my today father thank you for i will lend and not borrow thank you for whatever i touch will prosper and succeed struggle is not in my future lack and want is not in my future because the lord said that lord that don't lie on do lack and suffer anger but they that trust in him will not lack any good thing my seasons of lack are over maybe you need to kiss goodbye to the way you see yourself maybe you see yourself as inferior unattractive that you don't have a good personality you see yourself oh as too fat you see yourself as too big you see yourself as too thin you see yourself as inadequate not talented enough why don't you begin to kiss the wrong self-image goodbye one thing i want you to know if you want to change the direction of yourself that victory begins from your mind you may go to the gym 
you may go to Mexico to do some um, uh, body augmentation but if you don't have that victory from the mind you will never feel right about yourself victory abundance health freedom starts in our mind as a man thinketh in his heart so is he so you need to begin to change your mentality so that your reality will also change and i pray for you sister elizabeth i pray for you pastor kimi i pray for you brother jerry i pray for everyone that is connected tonight that victory is in your future failure is ended you are kissing that failure goodbye where you did not measure up where you missed it god is saying as you cross over to 2024 god is giving you victory god is bringing success he's opening doors in the name of jesus but you need to begin to declare it you need to begin to see it you need to begin to comprehend it in your heart before it starts to manifest in reality start embracing who god says you have you are fearfully and wonderfully made you are a masterpiece you are crowned with favor you have royal blood flowing in your veins nobody in this world has your same fingerprint so you are unique in your makeup you didn't come out of an assembly line <laughs> you are an original there's no two of you no two of you one of a kind made in the image of the almighty god i wonder where you can be at this time next year if you start kissing some things goodbye and what where you need to start from is you need to kiss the offense goodbye quit letting people hurt your feelings quit letting what they say ruin your day tune it out you know they have the right to say what they want and you also have the right to ignore it you shouldn't let that get down into your spirit well pastor steve i'm praying that these people at what we stop talking about me i don't want to discourage you but they may never quit talking about you they are jealous of the favor and the blessings of god on your life why don't you take it as a compliment they don't talk about average people they talk about exceptional people they don't talk about people that are not doing anything they talk about people that are taking new grounds people that are making a difference people that stand out and the one thing i want you to know is that it is a test god is seeing if you are ready to go to the next level are you going to get upset start thinking of how you're going to pay them back or are you going to kiss it goodbye and keep running your race? Keep enjoying your life. You know, those adversaries are getting you prepared for your destiny. Where you are going, there will be opposition. There will be critics. There will be people trying to pull you down. The good news is no weapon formed against you will prosper. They cannot stop you. The forces that are for you are greater than the forces that are against you. Why don't you stay on the high road? Stay focused on what God has put in your heart. You don't have the time to get distracted by all the negative chatter about what people are saying about you what they are saying is none of your business what they are saying shouldn't concern you 
there will always be somebody that doesn't like you kiss it goodbye and keep moving forward now there may be some relationship that you need to kiss goodbye I'm not talking about your husband or wife because I believe somebody just thought oh wow maybe I need to kiss my husband and wife goodbye no that's not your word for 2024 your time is too valuable to spend it with peace stealers people that try to get you all right up or with dream killers people that tell you you cannot become something or with compromisers people that cost you to give in to temptations you know pastor steve i've had this friend for a long time if i don't hang out with them they might be upset one thing i want you to know is this what you are unwilling to walk away from is where you will get stuck if you don't kiss the wrong people goodbye you will never meet the right people if someone is not adding value to your life making you better pushing you towards your destiny you need to make a change sometimes it's just because it's a new season the friends you have five years ago may not be the friends you need now everyone is not going where you are going it doesn't mean that they are not good people but you've just outgrown them you are growing at a faster pace and if you continue hanging around them it will limit your own growth you need to gradually spend less and less time with them you know naomi's daughter-in-law opa she was a good person naomi loved her they have spent years together but naomi recognized opa's part in her story was over she didn't try to talk her into staying if somebody is supposed to be in your life you can't make them leave and if they decide to leave they are not supposed to be there quit trying to talk people into staying you don't have to convince anyone to love you to call you to come see you you are a gift you are a prize you have something amazing to offer if they don't want to be there that's a sure sign they don't have to be there god has people already ordained that you can't make leave people that want to celebrate you people that love spending time with you if someone wants to leave let them leave your destiny is not tied to the people that walked away be respectful but kiss the uppers goodbye god told abraham to leave his relatives and move to a new season i'm sure he loves his relatives and for a season everything was fine but when god was about to promote abraham and do something big in his life he knew his relatives and the people where he lives would not be able to handle it the people closest to you may not see the greatness in you when they are familiar they can dismiss you as just being ordinary sometimes you have to kiss people goodbye so you can become all you are created to be don't let people talk you out of what god put in your heart when you come to the end of life you are not going to have to stand before people and give an account you are going to stand before god i would rather disappoint people than disappoint god i would rather hurt a few feelings than miss than to miss my destiny if there's something you need to kiss goodbye is there something you need to kiss goodbye 
maybe a hurt, a bad attitude, an area that you have been compromising in, don't bring it into a new year. That's in your past. It doesn't belong in your future. Kiss it goodbye. Apostle Paul said in Philippians 3.13, Forgetting what lies behind, I press to the high calling. If there is a high calling, that means there is a low calling. You can go through life holding on to hearts, wrong attitudes, with people that are not good for you, but that will keep you from the new levels, from the high calling that belongs to you. It's time to start kissing things goodbye. Kiss that failure goodbye. This is a new day. A new year is just around the corner. Kiss guilt goodbye. You've been forgiven. Kiss the bad break goodbye. God has something better. If you will do this, I believe and declare you are about to come into the eye calling. New doors are going to open. New relationships. New opportunities. Favor. Healing. Breakthroughs and the fullness of your destiny in jesus mighty name amen god bless you thank you for joining in jesus name if you want to uh, be a blessing to our ministry as in this last uh, covenant hour of prayer and you want to sow a seed and connect to the grace and the or in my life and the life of our ministry why don't you go ahead and sow a seed into this ministry the different platform to do that is uh is being shown you can do that through zell through paypal through cash app or you can send through test to give or even through facebook donate button go ahead and sow a seed into our ministry and god will bless and honor you as you do so in the name of jesus god bless you and you have a wonderful crossover service uh on sunday as we cross over to 2024 if you are in fresno i look forward to seeing you we shall be gathering 11 a.m for our end of the year thanksgiving service and um, we will gather for the crossover service at 10 p.m pacific time if you cannot join us uh physically you can join us virtually via our facebook live stream god bless you god honor you and god equip you even as you kiss everything that is trying to tie you and hold you back in 2023 as you begin to kiss them goodbye so that you can embrace the prize and the high calling that God has in your future, in your 2024, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are here of the Father. We are joint heirs with the Son. We are children of the kingdom. We are covenant family. We are one. And so surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your lives. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord for forever and ever. Amen. So see you next Friday, 2024 for our inaugural covenant hour of prayer same time 6 p.m god bless you and have a blessed evening in jesus name amen